probably every few hours a day. Um, I have a set of bottle babies here that their feral mom got scared and couldn't take care of them anymore. And um, they have to be <laughs> cleaned up and um, fed. Um, this is Cletus. Well, actually, I'm wrong. This is Frog. <laughs> and, uh, well, Cletus is a fast little moving creature. And so I was always joking that he was trucking along. And so I said that I was going to give him trucker names if I wasn't. And so uh, Sherry decided that it would be funny to name him Cletus and Frog. And uh, names from, you know, the bandit, Smokey and the Bandit. And so you have to clean them up. But right now, the main thing they're worried about is eating their food. And then Cletus is having a fit because he's not first. And they're doing about a half a bottle apiece every three to four hours. And have been, um, I've had them since they were a day old. How old are they now? Right at three weeks. So we have probably about another four weeks before they're completely weaned. But hopefully they'll be, you know, the, the time between bottles will get longer and longer as time goes on. They're getting ready to graduate up into a bigger kennel, which will have a litter box. We're going to start trying to teach them to use the litter box. And it's easy. You just put a box in there and set them in, and generally they figure out how to do it. Occasionally you have to put something in it, but most of the time they just innately know, okay, I feel something under my feet, let's scratch in it. You don't want germs on them that they don't have protection for. Um, and so you end up um, trying to keep them safe um, because they don't have any you know, immune system built up just yet. So you, you know, you have to you know what I'm doing is stimulating them because you know their mom would stimulate them to go to the bathroom one down Cletus that was round one for frog and now round one for Cletus just a minute you gotta go potty first mm -hmm. Um, once they've had their first two sets of shots, um, they will get their first set of shots around, you know, eight weeks. Um, and then they'll get their second set at ten. And then they will be up for adoption after that. Um, right now, they're on about every three to four hours. Um, they sometimes sleep through the night. Sometimes they don't. It just depends. Um, I don't wake them up. If they don't wake up, I don't wake them up anymore. I used to wake and feed them every three hours. Um, and now, if, if they'll sleep through the night, I let them sleep. And most nights, they make it. And I just listen for them. If they wake up, I get up and get them a bottle. And then they eat and go potty and go back to bed. Um, this is KMR, the uh, pet egg KMR, you know, that is specially designed for kittens. I've used different formulas. This, that's, this is the one that I find I have the best luck with. And, but other, you know, some people use different, you know, other, you know, feeders do different things. It all just depends on what the kittens do the best on for you. Whatever makes them happy, whatever keeps them, you know, keeps their, you know, their potty, you know, normal is the best way to go. I've had to switch to other, you know, formulas before with kittens that didn't do well on, you know, a particular formula. And then you just, you know, check them again. 
put them back up for a few minutes. And you do have to burp them. Um, these guys are kind of at the stage where they're kind of taking care of themselves. And they'll, they do breaks in between. Come on back, cat frog. They do first round, they get, you know, take a break, fill up, you know, get the, you know, they take care of themselves. And then they come back out and sometimes they want more and sometimes they don't. Apparently frog does. They start playing with their feet here in the next short bit. And then it's probably, they don't really do any serious, serious grooming until after about eight weeks. They'll play with their feet and lick on them and things like that, but they don't do any serious grooming um, until they're, you know, quite a bit older. You done? All kittens are born with blue eyes. The eyes will change. They'll start changing at about six weeks. Um, and they'll go to whatever ever color eyes they're going to have. Um, you know, you never know what they're going to change to until the change starts. Um, and then, then you, ha you know, then you can see um, what, what you're going to end up with and stuff. The only cat kittens that I stay the same, come here Cletus, the only kittens that I stay the same are like Siamese mm -hmm. that are the eye, they're going to have blue eyes and the eyes are going to stay blue. Cletus, you done? You want more? No? You think you're done? No. Nope. If it's with a mom, they should leave them with their mom. Um, the mom is the most, you know, the most, you know, able to take care of them. Um, if they're wanting them to not stay in the feral life um, and want to try to find them homes, they need to wait till they're at least six weeks old, um, as long as there's a mom there to take care of them. Because if they get them too earlier, I mean, this is, you know, this is not always, you know, the perfect answer for the babies because it is if there's no other option but if there is and you know if a mom is there they either need to get the mom and have you know be willing to house the mom and the babies or they need to let the mom take care of them um, because not all babies do well being bottle fed um, some of them they need their, you know they need their moms and there's not enough people out there that are willing to spend the time because this is, that was a big belch. Um, this is a, you know, very time consuming and taxing, you know, process. Cletus, you want more? These kittens go with me pretty much everywhere I go. Just on the chance that I don't get back in time. If I don't have somebody that can feed them um, for me while I'm gone, then they have to go with me. They've gone to the vet's office. They've gone to, you know, a friend's house. Um, and you have to plan your time around it. And, and also, you know, make sure you take stuff with you that you need. Including dry bedding. Because if they make a mess, you got to clean them up. They don't know anything but the, you know, but being handled by humans. So they, you know, these guys are just about as, you know, to, even though their mom is semi-feral, um, these guys are about as domesticated as, as they'll come. She was a semi-feral mom and she just, you know, freaked out and, you know, just could, you know, just could not seem to want to take care of them again. I tried, but she just she just wouldn't take care of them, and so 
I didn't want to take a chance of them starving to death just because she was overstressed. They, these guys just now can regulate their body temperature. I try to make sure that they are always in a warm, safe environment. Um, and then, um, you know, when we go outside, they're covered up so that, you know, just like you would do a baby, they're covered up so that they don't get wind blowing on them. We'll put a temporary towel in here until we go get them a clean one. There you go, guys. Go back in for a minute. Let me go get you some clean stuff. You guys are going to have to have a bath. This is hard work. It is. And it's, you know, not for the faint of hearts because even if you're tired, they still want to be fed.